Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card that's fallen is speculation over here. You've got Jupiter sitting in Cancer over there, so there's something going on in the home front there. Um, and, uh, you know, it, you might even be thinking of moving home or, you know, uh, maybe even uh, going to a foreign country. Uh, or changing your residence really with this uh, Jupiter in uh, ca um, in Cancer there. <clears throat> Four is a number of stability as well, so you're trying to find that stability as well. Uh, so you're going through a lot of options over here with the speculation card. You're you're looking at a lot of things at the moment. You've got the revenge card over here, so there's some kind of situation uh, that has occurred, uh, and you want your revenge, really. Uh, you know, you're very unhappy about whatever happened. Um, you want to get back at this particular person, so you, you're really unhappy about things. Uh, you can see this person's cut off somebody's head over there. It could have been a romantic situation, because you've got these two lovers over here, and uh, they might have been a third party situation over here or there's some kind of betrayal that has happened and now you want some kind of revenge because you've got Mars there in Scorpio. Now uh, you've got the uh Above it, you've got the moon sitting in Virgo over here, and this is about order. You're trying to get yourself organized. You're trying to get things sorted out. You know, this is getting the plants in a row, but people talk about getting your ducks in a row. So you are trying to get yourself organized. You're trying to, you know, work through a lot of emotions as well. There might also be a focus on work as well with this moon sitting here in Virgo. Um, maybe trying to get some kind of clarity and trying to sort out things, really. You've got the adaptability card over here in the past. So you've got moon sitting in Gemini over here. Things, the situation has been changing quite a bit and you have been coming to terms with it and trying to adapt to that situation. You have, may have been encountering some kind of resistance over here. You've got uh, Mercury in Taurus. So this could have been some problems with money. Uh, you've been trying to work, uh, you know, the situation, work through the situation with that adaptability card, maybe thinking yourself outside, out of box, really, um, you know, trying to think yourself out of that particular situation situation um, but here it seems like you have been facing some kind of obstacles you may have been even waiting for some messages to come in about this money you've got mercury in uh, taurus so this is you know about uh trying to sort the, through those money problems um maybe even trying to maybe you could even be doing some study something extra to try and enhance your skills in order for you to make some progress now you're going into the future. You've got Mercury sitting in uh, Sagittarius over there. This is about expansion. It could be some travel that is coming in for you. This could also be some higher education and a higher learning coming in for you as well. You've got the world over here. So it looks like there might be some, some travel, some kind of business trip, something that you have to do. It's the card of discovery. Um, you've got the escape card over here following it. So you've got Mars sitting in Pisces over here. So it looks like there's a difficult situation that ended at the moment and you're moving away from it. You can see all these people uh, flying away from it. It could have even been a financial situation uh, that you're, you're dealing with as well. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of meditation that you have been doing recently or, you know, trying to contact maybe your higher self or trying to contact the, the forces of the universe really to help you get through the situation. But you are getting over it and you are moving away. With the Mars sitting in Pisces, it's about, you know, Pisces is about ending those situations that you're going through because, um, uh, you know, you're trying. It's been There's been a lot of deception that has gone on. Pisces is, tends to be ruled by um, you know Neptune which causes a, a lot of confusion and sometimes you know hides a lot of facts as well but it's also you know showing that there's an ending and it seems like you're putting all your energy into it to try and end the situation and maybe you're discovering some kind of secret as well uh, some secrets coming out to light but this could also like I said the discovery card being about further education uh, you know something where you're learning uh, you know or this could also be about international travel or dealing with a lot of international people where you're learning a lot uh, from these encounters as well Sagittarius is about expansion and Mercury is about thinking or seeing the broader picture uh, so you know that's what's happening you are your mind is expanding as well you're at an end of a cycle of here you've got a nine on this particular card so uh, you know new things are going to be coming in for you with this so this whatever if you're doing a course or you're doing further study or whatever you're doing to improve your um, knowledge base is going to be the thing that sets you free it broadens your mind and you know allows you to move forward so those are the energies for that week so 
I'm just going to use the uh, TV series tarot for the main read. I have put the deck in the description box and I have shuffled the deck as well. So let's see what's going on. Oh, you've got the Tower card, and this is talking about a very difficult situation that you have been through. Uh, it looks like, uh, you know, there was a lot of drama. There's some kind of crisis that you went through. And this is being thrown out of a situation, you know, things beyond your control, having to leave some kind of very, very difficult situation. Um, and it caused a lot of problems. There's been a lot of loss as well with this particular card. Now, you've got uh, the Nine of Pentacles coming in, and you've got the um, Knight of Cups. So it looks like there's some kind of new offer that's coming in for you. Uh, it's a new job offer um, coming in. So this Knight is bringing in the news of this particular offer, or an offer is being made. That's going to make you very, very financially independent of whatever the situation is going on. So it's going to bring in some new money for you. Uh, maybe it's a new job offer that's going to come in over here. That It's definitely a job offer because uh, the Nine of Pentacles is about work uh, and, you know, achieving success and recognition for whatever you, you've been doing. And with this recognition and success comes in this offer or this offer brings in, uh, you know, the recognition and success uh, that you need and makes you financially independent. So something definitely is coming in an offer is coming in so you may have lost your job here uh you know with this um tower card here but it looks like uh, a new offer coming in that's going to make you quite successful so you are getting over things as well so you've got the death card over here so it looks like you did end a particular situation with that tower card above it looks like it was a very dramatic ending to that particular situation there might have been a lot of problems that were involved in that particular situation the card below it is uh, you can see this queen of uh, cups but there are three people here so that you might have been dealing with three people that caused a lot of problems for you and caused that tower moment as well that crisis to come in but it looks like you've ended that situation and uh, you are now moving forward uh, because you've got that death card over here so those were sudden endings and now you are moving forward uh, you've got the hermit card over here so you have been focused really a lot on your work Whatever the situation is, it caused, uh, you know, some kind of problem. You see this man's walking with a walking stick. Uh, so, you know, it caused, you know, some kind of disability in a sense. Um, it restricted you in some sort of way. It could co have caused some physical illness, maybe some stress illness that emerged because of the problem that you went through. Uh, and, but in the last three months, it looks like you are very, very focused and you're trying to even discover whatever happened, what was the, uh, you know, you're trying to uncover all the lies really with this hermit card. This is a card about, uh, you know, ruled by Virgo. So this is about being organized, uh, being very, very, uh, you know, strategic as well, um, and also being very focused on your work. So that's what's been happening. So um, in the what's in your mind, you've got the Three of Cups over here. So it looks like, you know, you want uh, maybe to get together with some friends. This is also you want success. So this is what's been on your mind. Uh, maybe even getting together with old friends and, uh, you know, some sort of celebration coming in over there. Now, going to the future, you've got the Nine of Cups. Now, this is an excellent card because this is showing satisfaction. Uh, it looks like you're in the limelight as well over here. This is like a TV presenter uh, presenting whatever show. Uh, but it, this is also about satisfaction, and, and it's the wish fulfillment card. So whatever you have been working on, it looks like it's going to come into your arena. So an excellent card to get. Looks like the universe is gifting you with something. Then you've got the Ace of Pentacles, and this is starting a new job, uh, new money, new fame coming in because you've got that record over here. Uh, something may, that you know might mean that you will be in the spotlight as well because you've got two of these cards. You've got that Nine of Cups, you know, showing somebody in the spotlight over here. But also with this Ace of Pentacles, it's you know with a speaker, so you're able to speak your truth. But also it gives you some kind of recognition, but also brings in the money and the wealth. Uh, you can see there's a you know really nice um, grand piano there and a nice bedroom going on over there. So it looks like whatever is coming in this new money is going to bring in a lot of success and happiness for you. But it also might bring in a lot of fame as well. So you've got the two of rods over here. So you're going to have to make some kind of big decision over here. 
Uh, you can see it's whether to stay in the situation you are, because this man can either stay here or go back to Earth. And there's a spaceship coming in to get him. So it looks like you have to make some decision about whether to stay uh, or whether to leave that particular situation. Uh, you know, whatever was established, you could stay in it or you can make take a chance. It's taking a risk on some particular uh, venture. So it looks like you are faced with that kind of decision soon. You've got the Ace of Swords over here, so you're definitely planning on speaking your truth. You're definitely have you have to make some decision now. Whatever decision you make uh, might be you know stir up a little bit of problems over there because it's the Ace of Swords. So you know a clarity coming in for you to see it like it is, and you're worried. Uh, you know you might upset some people if you make some kind of big decision as well. So going into the future, you've got the Nine of Rods over there, the Eight of Cups, and you've got the Nine of Swords. Well, the Nine of Rods is you need to hang in there. This is the last defense. This is the last battle. Everything is now coming to an end. You can see this man's got all his rods up over there, and people are still against him, but he's hanging in over there. He's tired. He's wounded. He's been through a lot. Uh, you know, he's a soldier, and that's how it's happened. You've been through a lot of fights, a lot of battles, and a lot of problems, and you just need to hang in over there. You know, you've got your defenses in place over there. You know what you want to do. Uh, nobody's coming near, and you are going through it, and you are are feeling very very exhausted but you need to just hang in over there you've got the eight of cups and this is about you know the situation that you have been dealing with uh you may need to walk away so that decision seems to be pretty much clear cut you need to you know about whether to stay or go it looks like you're going to make the decision to leave a new cycle beginning and you know something that you're going to do is going to take you up to heights you've got a flying source over there coming to take this man away so it looks like, you know, there's some new venture. You do need to take that risk and leave behind things that were established because it seems like, you know, there, is no, there, there doesn't seem to be any way of changing what has happened. You put a lot of work and effort into that job situation or whatever situation it was. It could have even been an emotional situation. Uh, you can see these cups are very, very nicely stacked. So a lot of effort has gone into it, uh, but you, it seems like it didn't have any kind of uh, payoff for you. And you are very disappointed. Uh, there's nothing you can do to remedy it. And so you want to move away and start a new cycle. You're very stressed out about it. You've got the Nine of Swords over here. This is showing high anxiety. Uh, you know, accessing the third eye. You've got the picture of the eye in the background over here. And also seeing the truth, um, you know, with these swords going across the eye over here. But whatever it is you're, you're focusing on is upsetting you quite a bit. And so that you're not even sleeping. And you're very, very anxious as well. But you needn't be because it looks like that Nine of Cups is coming in. So once you make a move from this particular situation, once you make that decision, it looks like new money is coming in. There's, you know, your wishes are being fulfilled. And there looks like there's some kind of offer that is coming in as well. So, you know, whatever that offer is, it could be something, you know, it could be a love offer if you're going through a love situation. But if it's a job situation, it looks like something that is really, really good. It might even involve, um, oops, further travel or further study. I've got cards on the floor here today. The two cards that fell off was awakening and balance. Uh, let's just draw the other one. This is the angel... Um, tarot and this is for the uh, oracle read so look at things from a different perspective a temporary standstill it is important to be yourself so the awakening card uh, you know is the um, hangman card and enlightenment coming to you so seeing things in a whole different life but also with the awakening card it's that giving up something that you consider to be very precious to you or having to sacrifice something in order for you to move forward You've got to look at things at a very uh, from a different perspective, and you are at a bit of a, um, a standstill at the moment. So things seem to be, you know, not moving at the moment. But it looks like they're going to start. There's a balance card over here, which is the Temperance card, a need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. So this is talking about divine timing at play over here, and you know, emptying out, uh, you know, or trying to bring balance into your life again, getting your emotions on track as well. And, uh, you know, this could even mean that you need to compromise in that situation in order to move forward. You've got the ego card over here. So a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, 
negative or fear-based thoughts. So, you know, you've got to, with, a, with this is the ego card or the devil card over here, it's being controlled by a situation that you have more control than you thought you had. So, uh, and try not to be negative about it because it looks like the positive things are coming in for you with that nine of cups. So there is a, a shift in a positive direction. But you are very, very anxious about moving on. It seems like, you know, it's it's um, it's upsetting you. Maybe you've been in the situation for so long, you can't really see what's coming. But it looks like something positive is coming for you because there's new money with that Ace of Pentacles or a new life coming in for you, new abundance. You need to hang in there uh, with that Nine of uh, Rods as well. So you need to stand up for yourself, hang in there and walk away from a difficult situation in order for you to make uh, progress. So you are being faced with the decision over here and you do need to move on. Uh, and, uh, you know, once you start uh, changing your mindset about things, it looks like you will get everything that you want because the universe is gifting you with that. So there's that awakening card waiting for things. Think it through very carefully. Uh, you know, make sure that you're uh, very balanced in your thinking. Uh, be a bit unemotional about it. Uh, think of uh, what's going to be good for you rather than anybody else. And try not to be negative about things. And you will get everything that you want. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.